Biden will do it. Thank you for that. Wow. Okay, that's an accolade. Um, thanks for inviting us. Uh, Francine and the team for letting us uh, sponsor the event. Um, so where do I start? So I, I'm, I've got a, a very soft spot for Salford University at myself, um, like Naomi does. I went to Salford. Um, I actually, I was in school in London. Just a, a little side story for you. I was at a school in London, did my A-levels, royally messed those up. Um, and um, I was in a very, very bizarre place at the time. And I, so I went through Cleary. And I had University of Salford and University of Glamorgan in Wales. And at the time, I had nowhere, no idea where Glamorgan was. So I came up to Salford. And uh, I remember coming up the train at Salford Crescent. And the first thing that I realized was that the place just felt right. I have no idea how to describe it. It just felt right. Um, and I chose Salford, and I've been, and I, I spent five years there. I actually did what I call a foundation degree, which allowed me to do all different kinds of engineering degrees just to get an idea of what I wanted to do. So I was first year, and then I did a four-year degree um, with an industrial placement, which I'll, I'll come to in a little while as well, which is crucial to one of the reasons why we're here. Um, so a little bit about myself. So I head up uh, the Planet's Work office here in Media City, uh, like Naomi and Francine said. So we're an enterprise company. Globally, we are nearly 650 people, I think. Um, we've got about 14 offices globally. I started the UK office in 2016, um, just with myself, uh, which was extremely terrifying at the time. Um, and then Sam, who's in the audience there, I'm just going to put a spotlight on you there. Um, Sam, my marketing manager, joined me. And I remember the first time we, uh, we had our first meeting. Sam hadn't quite left her previous job at the time. And we were in the Blue Tower, um, and it was a co-working space. And I had my own desk, and Sam literally had to huddle next to me, and that's all we had, just one desk and two chairs. And now we've got 21 people in our office um, in the White Tower here in Media City. And um, Plan is where as a company is extremely innovative. So apart from the fact that we, we actually make software that helps customers innovate and bring amazing products to market through R&D and innovation and also different project and portfolio management methodologies, we're an innovative company. We're always trying to find better ways of doing what's already been done, rather than just accepting the status quo. Um, and I enjoy seeing the team flourish in doing that. Um, and what do I do? So with, with the industry advisory board, I'll just quickly talk about that um, for a while and why I joined them. Um, Naomi, when Naomi first talked about the idea, I'm not sure she even finished the sentence before I said, yes, I want to join. Mm -hmm. um, because the Salford University, to me, is a gem in the Northwest region. It's an absolute gem, but I don't think they tell the story often enough. Um, when I was at Salford University, I always felt there were this sort of second cousin, third removed, compared to Manchester University, UMIST, and Manmet, and all those other universities. But actually, they were doing some amazing things. Um, and the advisory board is another example of that. So with Naomi driving it, the idea, for, from my point of view, is threefold. One is about representation. Um, as a black person going through Salford University, there wasn't a lot of people that I could aspire to. Um, there were probably two people, one of them who just recently connected with me on LinkedIn. He was a PhD student. Um, he now works at one of my customers, so we're going to try and hook up and catch up on that. Um, is representation for people of minority groups. It's crucial to have that in university, because if you don't see yourself represented, you, you feel like you're always pushing against the wall that you can't see, uh, which is very uh, demotivating sometimes. The other is about trying to build bridges between industry and education. Um, People talk about the skills gap and leveling up. I'm not very much into politics, but one thing is clear for me, having built Planners which where it is now, when recruiting. There is a gap. It's a big chasm between education and businesses. Um, you know, industry needs people to work for them. University is equipping people to work in industry. Well, we need to work together. We need to work, work out what does industry need. Right, university, this is what we need. Make those, and then the gap will you know, shorten over time. That collaboration is key. And then the third one, for, from a company point of view, is about trying to raise the profile of Planisware so that within the university and the network that it has, um, the, the students aspire to want to work for a company like Planisware. Uh, in the UK, we're not very well known. We're a lot more known now, thanks to Sam and the marketing team. But when, when we first started, no one knew who Planisware was. But yet, we supply amazing software to, like, God knows how many amazing companies globally. So I'll give you a quick example. Um, in the pharma industry, AstraZeneca, GSK, Pfizer, BioNTech, um, all of those are our customers. And during the COVID pandemic, they use our software to plan all their clinical trials. Now, on the face of it, that seems like a very 
small part, but when, as a team, we start to realize how much of an impact we have in life-changing situations, um, so whether it's renewables energy, engineering development, drug development, generic drug development, companies are using our software to plan and bring those products to market. So very proud about that. Um, and yeah, proud to be part of this project. And I want to just very quickly on ecosystem. Uh, we might talk about it later. Francine talked about how it's important to kind of have this community. Um, in, in nature, the ecosystem is, is going to survive and succeed only if it works together. Okay? And the, the way that I see things is that industry, whether it's small business, large business, sole traders, and the education systems have to work together alongside the schools as well. So don't forget the schools. That's the other thing that people like Naomi are, are working with. So it's crucial that the ecosystem collaborates and works together. That's, one of, that's how you guarantee the success and the survival, really. So thank you very much for having me.